Oh my gosh! My voice is still gone, everybody. Hi everyone, welcome back to the vlog. I'm going to be recording the road in this vlog. It might be a little bit shaky, but I'm, I'm gonna try my best. These car mounts are not the greatest. So, in this video today, I have my seatbelt on because the last video I did, you guys were so dramatic because I put the seatbelt behind me. Anyways, so, this video here, I'm going to be sharing with you guys driving in Jamaica some tips. This is an updated version because there's a lot more I need to share with you guys and just overall teach you. So the first is gonna be a short video. I'm gonna be driving to my mom's house. I'm on Christiana Highway, by the way. I just came from the bank in Christiana. We're on the highway. So I can actually show you guys how close Christiana and Smallings is for people who do not know, know North Manchester, North Clarendon. I can show you guys. Oh my God, this thing is shaking so much. I do apologize. So anyways, we're at the light. So the first tip that I have for you guys, I want you guys to leave some tips down below. The first tip is drive. Don't be scared, drive, take your time. Whatever foolishness that we're gonna talk about in this video that other people do on the road down here, who cares about them and what they're doing? You take your time, you drive, okay? You guys just saw that, a car just overtake me. He just looked like he ran the red line try to overtake me. For what reason? Here's the next tip. So take, just drive, okay? I started driving down here once I was 16. As soon as I got my G1, I was driving down in Jamaica. So you guys can do too, just take your time. If people crash and drive crazy down here, what does that have to do with you guys, huh? Someone please let me know. What does that have to do with you? All you have to do is drive. That's what you have to do is just drive. Okay, next tip is, people think down here, speeding means you can drive and if you don't speed, that means you don't know how to drive. Listen, don't follow the people them down here because you're the next one who's gonna end up in Jamaica Star, Jamaica Gleaner on the news with the mashup car. Let people speed, you take your time. Take your time in Jamaica for various of reasons which I'm gonna tell you guys in this video. Amount of reasons. I crashed right here, exactly right here. Here's, here, well, I didn't. we're back in action. Back to what I was saying. Sorry, you guys have to be on an angle because I had to change my battery. The battery flipping died on me. Meanwhile, okay, we're going into, we're leaving out of Christiana's side now. Okay, so, you guys can't see my nice outfit. One thing about Shein clothes, girl, Shein clothes be very thin. Oh, this is shaking so much. Okay, so, <laughs> tip, take your time. I'm gonna tell you guys the many reasons why you wanna take your time driving in Jamaica. This is why I say all the time. Who cares what people are doing on the road because you have to take your time at the end of the day. Take your time because people stop out of nowhere. You, everyone will be driving so good in the line and then out of nowhere someone's stopping. It's either because they're pulling over, they're turning, but they don't put their indicator on. Majority of the time, I'll say 99% of the time people don't put on their indicator. Let me put on mine right now. Okay, now I'll show you guys. So right here, you can go into Smalling. So now I'm turning into the Smalling's direction. We're here where Stages car washes, where I buy the shrimp and stuff. Okay, people, oh my gosh, how much times I almost run up in someone because people do not put on their indicator. And yo, when I say, they, I, I don't know how many meters they say to go behind a car in Jamaica, just make it two. Because these people will be driving like nothing is running them all nowhere, boom, stop. And that's how I, the accident happened where I was in. But everything was going fine. It looked like the guy behind me who was driving wasn't paying attention. I stopped, waited till the man just ran up into me. And then the reason why everyone ran, well, everyone almost ran up into each other was because the guy that was at the head of it, he didn't put on his indicator, he just stopped to turn out of nowhere. You cannot, like the thing that baffles me is like they drive like they're not turning and out of nowhere they put on their indicator last minute. That's the next thing, they put on their indicator last minute. So now we're driving to Smalling Side. The road is nice over here. They put on their flipping indicator last minute. So be mindful. Next thing, you, it's not like you're in firing where you can text and drive at the same time. You cannot, you cannot be eating at the same time, you cannot be doing none of that. Your eyes, ears, mouth, and nose <laughs> have to be on the road. Because people stop last minute, people put on their indicators last minute, people be cutting you off, okay? And the roads are windy, windy, so if you take your eyes off for one second, you might your car might be going here, your car might be going there, right? 
So please, please, I tell you guys, please just keep your eyes on the road. You can't do multitasking. I swear my life, I don't know who's praying over my life and who's praying for me. It might be my mom because there's so many times that I almost get into like certain accidents and I'm like, yo, something was praying, someone was praying for me because the way I avoided that or the way I could have stopped last minute, child, Honestly, I just feel like overall you have to be more mindful when you're driving in Jamaica. Be mindful and be, keep your eyes on the road. These taxi drivers and people in general just pull over without indicating. They pull over last minute. You'll be all driving good close behind. Do you see how this car is in front of me right now driving? But I'll be say it's like a little bit more of a faster speed because like we're on a road where you can go a little bit more faster. Um, it'll just stop. You be like, oh my gosh. And then next thing if you want to drive down here you have to know how to be you have to be brave to cuss people off and put them in their place I don't give a f I don't business the amount of cussing I got down here from people and the amount of cussing I had to give back on them because I was gonna cuss me and get away with it next thing are potholes I talked about this in my other driving video but I'll do updating one honestly like the potholes them down here are terrible family they're so terrible so you just want to either Drive really slow and drive through the potholes if it's not like super deep or drive around them. But when you try following people and drive around them, you might get knocked. As in, you might end up somewhere else on the road or you're gonna hit into someone else's vehicle. So this road is to go to Spallings now. So do you guys see how easy it is? It's literally around the corner. And they're really close. Well, it's not really around the corner, but you know what I mean. It's a very close drive. So, what I was saying, yeah, the potholes, like I just went over one, they're, you just take your time or you go around them. I'm going to show you guys some in spallings. Okay, next thing, the road type. So depending on where you live on the island, it's really dependent because not everywhere in, co in country, the roads them are all twisty, twisty, twisty because there's some country parts and there's some country parts, right? And the roads them are straight like this, like when you go to like Mobile and those places. But anyways. A lot of the country roads them are windy windy it's gonna take you some time to familiar selves with the windy 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 <laughs> to be honest and honestly again you guys just take your time okay you can rent cars out here for people who want to rent cars just make sure all they want to know is you have a legit license and they will make you rent your rent a car from people down here in Jamaica okay because I know a lot of people are like oh should I get a driver or should I rent you can get a driver if you if you don't mind paying someone but with a car you can leave out and show boat and show bin I have to say that you can show boat anytime when you have your own car right I would not rely on public transport because public transport ends off by a certain time oh I forgot to tell you guys let's go back into cussing let's talk do you guys see how small the roads them are yeah this is the reality of majority of the roads them down here I want to show you guys do you see the potholes them Everyone's taking their slow, sweet time. It's all crooked. Everyone's taking their slow, sweet time. Driving. We're now entering into spellings. Oh, we passed the hospital. I didn't even get to show you guys the hospital. We passed the basic school. We passed a lot of businesses and everything like that. Anyways, so. What was I saying? Yeah, the roads are more narrow. Oh my god, I'm gonna see if I can give you guys a night drive. I'll see how dark it is. I'm gonna try and drive with you guys at night so you guys can see that there's not really a lot of lights. And so everyone's using their high beams in country and girl, have fun driving. It's a, it's not the easiest driving down here, but it's not like you cannot do it. Don't let people tell you guys foolishness. You guys can drive down here. And stop saying, oh, people speed down here so I don't want to drive. Okay, and people speed in Canada all the time. When you're on the highway, you see people speeding and going through the cars like they're on some driving game so how are you scared not scared there but you're scared here that doesn't make any sense next thing people cussing you i didn't fully finish just make sure that you can cuss people back off tell them about the muma cat tell them about them yo i have to tell people some stuff because it's so annoying here's the next thing that i forgot to tell you guys people like honking i don't know what it is People like honking people. It's so frustrating and it's so annoying. Look at the cute Jamaica flag. We're in Spallingstown now. We're passing the bakery. There's some stores on the left-hand side. The old um, postal office. Oh, now they still didn't renovate it. Okay, there's traffic. What time is it? It's 524 currently. There's a bakery. 
Let me know if you guys are liking this video so far. Comment, like, down below. Okay, so let's talk about the art of honking in Jamaica. Let, let's call it that, okay? I don't wanna hit, I don't wanna hit you, Momzel. The art of honking in Jamaica. People honk for a variety of reasons. The first reason is they're probably saying hi to someone. The second reason is they have a honking problem. They just like, I don't want to swear, but they like honking for no reason. They'll honk you for any and everything. It's so frustrating and annoying. The third thing is they'll honk you to try and make you move up faster and make you drive faster. Do not tell them Anisha Adams told you. Do not make nobody try and tell you to drive up. What did I say, guys? Don't make nobody tell you to drive out. You drive because when your car is licked, when your car is licked, those same people that are telling you to drive up, they're not fixing back your car, okay? When I was in the accident, not I can tell you the people them that was there for me when I was in the accident, okay? People don't business, okay? And even in that, you guys can watch the accident and vlog how the guy didn't want to pay. He was going around me and stuff like that. Yo, people are not genuine down here. People are not real, but that's a whole different story. Um, so don't make people rush you. Take your time. I want people. Uh, yeah, come on, come on, the road. Oh, the road. People are saying, "Hey, come on, the road." They love tell you that stuff. You tell them, tell your mama to come out the road. Tell your mama to come out. That's what you have to tell them, that guys. Sorry, my voice has been gone for like a whole week or so. Tell yo, run them. Oh, when they're oh, sometimes when they're honking, you just flash your hand at them and tell them to move. But honestly, I don't have road rage, guys. I don't. I don't have road It's only some people, they will get me to wind up my window and cuss them off. I don't really cuss off people because usually it's like fine driving. Let me show you guys. The roads are windy like this. Let me show you. Oh, hold on. The roads up are windy like this. Right? And there we go. Oh, a next thing is people like parking at the side of the road. So you're going to have to always navigate. Take your time. Okay? Sometimes you have to parallel park in Jamaica. Not all the time. Oh my God, let's talk about parking. <gasps> oh, what stressed me like parking in sweet, sweet Jamaica. Yo. One thing I can give these people down here, they know how to flip and park. I don't know about driving because the amount of crashes down here, I don't think people know how to drive to that extent, but parking they can do. Yo, there's some parking I would avoid because I'm like, I don't know how to park like this. No, 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 I just go park out farther out and walk in i give up don't include me and then there's some yo you have to park sometimes in some small small parking lots and they're like yeah money car can fit they can fit look at the beautiful sky they're saying your car can fit you're like how and then your car ends up fitting and you're like oh my gosh i don't like it what stresses me like parking there's not really that much parking in jamaica especially at stores and businesses they there'll be a whole plaza and they only have five parking spaces and you're like oh, Sway, how, how, how? Someone tell me how. Doesn't make any sense. So, you are gonna get more confident and better at parking. Oh my god, let's talk about people and their eyes. I have so much to talk about because there's so much. Okay, guys, I'm, I left out of Spallings and I'm going down to like Nine Mile side. So, we're in Nine Mile going down to Bailey, blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna wrap up this video. We're almost done this video, unfortunately. You guys can let me know if you guys want more videos or just video vlogs of me driving. This might be so shaky, but I hope you guys do not mind. So let me tell my good up people them. People in their eyesight. So a lot of people tint their cars down here and I don't wrong them. Because when I tell you the people in Jamaica, they will stare you dead in your eyes in your car. Their eyes will be in your car looking around in your car. Mama, you know, see, say you something drop on the ground and you didn't even see it and you're in the car and how, like, why is your eyes all the way down, all the way down on the passenger side where the feet, uh, where the feet supposed to be, sir? Say so how? Lord have mercy. So be careful and be mindful. That's not really a good thing. I don't like that. And I just, I don't like when people stare at me. People have a staring problem down here. I will never get used to it. I say it all the time in all my videos. I will never get used to the staring problem because it makes me feel uncomfortable. Just earlier today, I was in the library parking lot in Spallings and I like cussed off a guy through my window because I was trying to set up these stuff and he was just staring at me smiling. And I was like, why are, the, why are you smiling for? Like, why are you looking? <laughs> I was like, why are you looking at me for? 
and I felt bad after but I was like no like I have no privacy and I can't even tint the front I showed you guys in my car vlog I tried tinting the front of my car baby the front of my car cannot tint because the police will rip it off I tinted it and then they ended up tearing it off so I was like I don't have time for this foolishness bye so yeah you guys can tint your cars like the sides but like I don't think you can't tint the front people do it and I don't know how they get away with it but when I do it they just rip it off so I don't have time for this so the next thing is so we did parking yeah we did cussing we did all that what else can I tell you guys about driving in Jamaica look at the beautiful views driving in Jamaica there's not okay they're getting better with the G GPS they're getting way better with the GPS okay so that's a good thing so you can use GPS to go to a lot of places now it's getting more modern and updated so thank 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 you to whoever is responsible for that my car smells so good if you guys didn't watch my car vlog like the aesthetic part of my car vlog you guys can go watch it and you guys can see all the stuff that I'm using because my car is smelly good so it's very scenic oops I guess they're fixing the road or something it's very we're in nine miles still it's very scenic in Jamaica there's a lot to look at there's not really signs like that and if they do have signs it's outdated no, is that how it is? Broke up. The signs that are broke up or hidden by... The signs are broke up or hidden by bushes. Okay, so this is shaking so much. Yeah, so sometimes you have to stop and... <laughs> and then you know where you're going. I've drove... I remember when I was like 16 or 17, I drove to Nick Grill with me, my sisters, and nieces and nephews, and we literally just use the signs on the road and we made it all the way to Negro. Remember, I was 16, 17. I was 16 around that time, right? Well, other times we've gone to Negro, people have been driving, right? So that was like one of the first times I drove to Negro. All right, we're turning the car in. It's getting dark. So yeah, I feel like that's all I have for tips. My main thing is do it, have fun, take your time. When you drive, you have a sense of freedom because you can go in and come out as you please, right? Okay, let me show you guys. I'm going to show you guys a pothole right now. Do you see this? So I'm going out actually on the other side of the road to try and avoid the potholes then. Okay. Next thing in Jamaica, look ahead. This is just, I think, a tip anywhere you drive in this world, to be honest. You, you have to look ahead. See what's happening ahead. Always look at your rear view mirrors because some of these people, oh my gosh. Oh my God, next thing is people will ride your batty. People go ride your batty in Jamaica. They're going to ride behind you. They're going to give you this much space. Okay, be mindful of people like that because when you stop, they're going to lick up into your car and they're going to try and cuss you off. Cuss them straight back off. Okay? As much as taxi drivers are annoying to drive amongst on the road, they're very fast and convenient. This is this is tra public transport. Tasha, so I'm not even going to talk about it. But, yeah. Um, guys, how do I look? I think that's it for this vlog. I'm going to come back at nighttime and see if I can record. Those are the main driving tips that I have for you guys. And I think they're actually really good tips. Just stay far. Do you see how far I am from this car? I'm so far. Because sometimes we have to stop studying because potholes we don't see last minute. This and that. Listen, uh, the one thing I want to tell you guys is don't listen to people when they start complaining and tell you that you drive slow and they don't want to drive with you. Okay? Are you the one driving? Are you the one fixing my shocks? Tell them straight. Don't be afraid of people. Okay? One time, yo, the other day my friends them and I were all talking and then they were talking about how they don't like driving with people who drive fast and then someone said in the group that how sometimes you can't even tell these people who are driving fast that are driving you. You can't tell them nothing because the last time... <laughs> I can't stop laughing. The person said the last time that they told this taxi driver to stop driving fast, the taxi driver pulled over and said, come out. If you don't like my driving, come out. Listen, anytime a taxi driver try to do stuff like that, I said, no problem. No problem. You just come out. The next taxi is right behind him and you take your little hundred dollars and go into the next taxi. If you don't feel comfortable with people speeding down here, I'm in Bailey Stand for people wondering. Oh, this is the main one. Make sure you guys have brakes down here. You know, sometimes people are like, ah, oh, in Canada or whatever country in America, they'd be like, oh, I can go a little bit longer without fixing my brakes. I can no, in Jamaica, make sure you have brakes, you know? I think this is the first country in my life I had to do so much sudden stops, like sudden, 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 sudden stops every single day, every hour of the day. 
because of all the things I mentioned earlier in the video. Potholes, people stopping last minute, dogs and everything running on the road. I'm not killing anyone's cute dog and kitty cat, right? I'm not doing none of that. So, look at this, beautiful. So you guys want to, just make sure you guys have brakes for the sudden, sudden changes, okay? And if you guys want to watch a video on, oh, wrong person, I thought there was someone I knew. If you guys want to, if you guys want to, see, I just honked people I knew, I was just saying hi. So, if you guys want to get see a video of buying a car in Jamaica, the process, I have a video on that. Uh, car must-haves for just in general and then car safety must-haves okay I have that on my channel you guys can watch so that is it for today's video can you guys see me <laughs> oh my gosh it's so dark should I drive with the sign maybe I should for a bit everyone's gonna be staring at me people in Jamaica is but yes okay I'm gonna give you guys a night view of me driving I feel like everyone will see me oh my gosh hopefully the lights from other people's cars can help. So at night, well in the countryside, there's not that many lights to be honest. So you're gonna have to drive with your high beams. Oh, my four ways are still on. You're gonna have to drive with your four, um, you're going to have to drive with your high beams. What time is it? It's only eight o'clock. Why is spalling so empty? Oh gosh, it's so empty. Yeah, you're gonna have to drive with your high beams on because people are not going, you're not gonna see anything. And you're gonna get blind from other people. I have to go through these lights because even though it's night and it's telling me that I can go, people will still drive through. Yeah, people, this police officer has been out here all day and night. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so. You just want to take your time sometimes in the road there isn't any lines as well but obviously you know that if you're supposed to be on one side you stay on one side and vice versa a lot of people will overtake you honestly just let them overtake you let them go around you yeah don't even like some people they overtake really bad like i told you the story the guy overtake me and he literally almost cr like he almost crashed oh, hold on. he almost cr He almost crashed into my car. That's what's so upset because I'm like, you don't even know how to overtake properly. When you're in Jamaica, you're going to have to learn how to overtake because since the roads are so small, it's always like one lane majority of the time. Whoops. It's always one lane majority of the time. So sometimes like it's so slow because some of the trucks go like 10. You know, like, okay, I'm gonna have to overtake. I'll overtake with caution. Okay, but as time goes on, you learn how to overtake. And I feel like overtaking is a skill down here. So don't feel like say, you can just overtake and you'll know. It's literally a skill. You cannot be overtaking around corners, all that jazz. I feel like you guys can't see me and I just wanted to give you guys a night view. Do you guys see how dark it is? Yeah, so that is it for this video. Give it a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next one. I'm going somewhere, stay tuned to my vlogs. You guys will stay updated on what I'm doing. And yeah, bye.